Intel 760p series SSD. The start of affordable solid state storage. Built upon Intel's new 64 layer 3D NAND technology, the 760p series not only doubles the speed of its previous consumer SSDs, it's also nearly as affordable. Starting at $74, about £50, 90 Australian dollars, for an 128 gigabytes drive, $109, about £80, 140 Australian dollars, for 256 gigabytes, and $199, about £140, 250 Australian dollars, for 512 gigabytes which we tested, these are some of the cheapest new drives you're going to find this year. Again, Intel's 760p series SSDs use the company's new 64-layer 3D NAND technology that's twice as dense as the company's 32-layer NAND used on the previous generation of Intel 600p series SSDs. Thanks to this doubling of density, Intel promises its new drives are nearly twice as fast and more power-efficient than before. The 512 gigabytes capacity 760p series is rated for 3230 megabytes per second sequential read and 1625 megabytes per second sequential write speeds. That's a significant increase from the 512 gigabytes Intel SSD 600p's 1775 megabytes per second and 560 megabytes per second sequential read and write speeds, respectively. It's also enough speed to give Samsung's almost undisputed 960 Evo SSDs reason to worry. Though Samsung's NAND drive still pulls slightly ahead with 3200 megabytes per second and 1800 megabytes per second sequential read and write speeds, respectively, it's also more expensive with a 500 gigabytes capacity unit priced at $229, 223 pounds, 315 Australian dollars. In our testing, the 512 gigabytes Intel 760p series SSD peaked at 3056.6 megabyte per second and 1606.6 megabytes per second sequential read and write speeds, respectively. Though it doesn't completely hit on the promised speeds, we expect performance will only get better with further driver updates. What's more, the Intel 760p series SSD offers more than enough high-speed read performance to make it a solid storage device for gaming. Asset-heavy, open-world games like Assassin's Creed Origins loaded like a dream while also giving us incredibly fast boot times to get into Windows 10. The drive's slightly sluggish write speeds might not work for impatient video editors, so we would suggest the Samsung 960 Pro for its much faster 2100 megabytes per second sequential write capabilities. Intel 760p series SSDs are a serious step up for the brand's capable solid-state drives. It's not often we see storage take a leap in speed this significant. A 256GB SSD with key Gen 3.0 by 4 speed for $109, about £80, 140 Australian dollars, is almost a no-brainer for the modern PC builder, and the $199, about £140, 250 Australian dollars, for the 512GB unit we reviewed isn't a far stretch either. We just hope this pricing trend continues to an one terabyte model that costs well under than 400 smackers.